Speaking of old friends, there is something that I really got to bring up. Of course, the day my life is a train wreck, like most of y'all's. And the day I left for this fucking tour, of course, my van with 240,000 miles on it that I put my last $400 into new tires on broke the fuck down, of course. And it can't be fixed. So what does a man with no credit card do? when he's got to go on the road for a really long time. You beg your friends who have credit cards to lend them to you so that you can get on the road. That happened and I went to the rental place and the man behind the counter said, your friend's credit card with $93 on it ain't gonna work for the $1,400 you need. And then something beautiful happened. Here's what happens. When you get out of that mundane routine that all of us live, y'all live the same life I do. I feel you. You wake up in the morning, you walk your dog, you take a shower, you go to work, you come home, you smoke a joint, you drink some beers, you look at the chickens, and you do the whole thing over again. Wake up, take a shower, walk your dog, go to work, blah, 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 you know the fucking thing. What I do is I need to go on the road in many formats. I have to change my perspectives or I feel like that mundane circle drives me fucking crazy. So here I am, going on tour again, trying to make my life feel better and fulfilled and get out of my bullshit routine. And of course, all that hard work fails always because that's just how life goes often. So I also realize that there are there is something to be said about all of us who live in this world of shit work. We all look out for one another. So here I am with a friend's credit card with $93 on it and I need $1,400. What does this guy do? Because he knows I'm fucking sweating it, y'all. He knows I'm sweating it. He's like, this man needs to go on the road in this period. Once his boss turns his fucking back, his fake swipes that credit card, hands me the fucking keys to an E350, right? So that's the first section of tour. And then I gotta come to the West Coast and I'm flying out here. How do you do a one-way rental without any money? Your friends help you the fuck out. And so I would like to thank a friend of mine named Jill and another friend named Chuck and their last name are Reagan for letting us another E350 for this entire run. And it is the way we all look after one another that makes the worst days that you can ever have that much fucking better and that fucking beautiful. Give me the worst days in the world. I know shit's gonna flip on the other end. Fell this morning, fucked up this whole damn day. In fact, the sun is high and shining, but I'm too trained to leave. Away for night to sing. Close the blinds and lock both the doors. Oh God, I'm terrified. I'm terrified to be found here. Shaking in with drawn, I need a break. I keep scratching but won't cut deep enough to bleed. I figure it out alone. Don't know it's got in me. But it'll be alright. Hell yeah. It'll be alright. right now is trying to live in the moment. Y'all ever try that? <laughs> fuck tomorrow and fuck all the yesterdays. I'm too old to be chasing burdens by the riverside at night. A watershed waist deep with friends turning cheeks as I'm chasing trains that never end. A cup that I don't feel don't know it's gotten. Whoa, whoa. It's okay. Goddamn sometimes silence is all I need. Okay. 